engineer 775 it's december 30th and we're just trying to wrap up some loose ends here in 2019 before we start off in 2020 we've got several jobs already scheduled thankfully and uh we've been blessed and so we're continuing on with our solar installations this they're all different this one the homeowner had started it and um decided to hand it off to to johnny boy so it was close to his house so we came down to help him and i've just been working on getting the array all planed out cutting pipes i think we've got it planed out nicely now and we're going to uh build this and we're going to use end phase for the first time we hear a lot about end phase microinverters and there's bazillions of them out there so we're going to use uh end phase micros and i iq7 pluses so we'll show you that system, the Envoy, the Enlightened, and all the goodies that go along with it. So this is a nice little grid tie, and uh, it's good that it's close to Johnny's house because he can monitor and check on it. So uh, this is kind of like a training exercise here on Enphase. So we'll figure it out. But this is day one. Hopefully knock this thing out. Now that we got the pipes to the right height and planed, let's get to building. And then we're going to go, we're going to do a lot of little jobs into 2019. So hopefully we can get it wrapped up. But we'll never finish it. We'll just, so anyway, get to work. All right, we're starting to put the microinverters on. We're short on some material, but we'll get that resolved here shortly. But here are the Enphase IQ7 Pluses. I think they put out about an amp and a half, 1.3 amps maybe. They're be aggregated together in uh, up to 20 amp circuit so we'll have three circuits on this array that'll be combined somewhere probably there our conduit is up there that was put in three years ago so um, I believe everything will be brought into a junction box over here so for any of you end phase experts out there forgive me for this is uh, kind of my on-the-job training with end phase why am I doing this? Well, there could be many reasons. It's just a grid tie, no batteries here, just very efficient inverter, good quality inverter. In terms of shading efficiencies, because we do have some shading here, that uh, the panels will, are individually managed and con the power is converted from DC to AC on each panel so they're not affected by each other. And so shade on one panel will not affect the shade on another. That's another good reason to use Enphase. And Enphase has some cool stuff coming with their batteries. And uh, we, I don't think they're gonna, there's going to be a battery on this. Maybe next year. So he'll be set up for it. And uh, that's another, another reason. You can start off with grid tie and make it work with your budget. And then add batteries later if you'd like. So anyway, that's where we're at. End of day one. All right, speed and getting of day two. We're about to get started. Johnny just showed up with our solar panales, and we're about to uh, get this thing roughed out, turn, determine how we want to wire it up, and I'm about to scan in all these barcodes before we cover them up, so that for monitoring later, that we can see what the each panel is producing at any time from anywhere in the world. It's kind of cool. So. Just trying to figure out the comms for end phase. Again, if you're an end phase installer, quit laughing. All right, let's get to work. All right, got the last panel added. We might take one off to put the IQ combiner on, but that looks good. That looks really nice. What do you think? This is where the pipe mounts come in when you got a piece of property that's sloping in two directions. Uh, it's hard to get some of the posted ground mounts to work out so well so pipe mounts have their place and this is one of those types of places had to keep it as low to the ground as possible because it's in a subdivision and the house behind would not like its lake view blocked so um, it's about the best you can do in this location okay we've gotten as far as we can get on this job due to the fact we got to be at another job tomorrow morning so we're going to leave the remaining electrical on this end phase to Mr. Johnny Valentine. So 
This is close to him, so he's going to finish this up. But we did our part, leveling out the array. It's almost a perfect square. Planed it out, cut some posts, cleaned it up. This is about a 10KW ground mount with N-phase IQR7 pluses. It will be landed. It will be we um, landing over there in the main panel. I need to put up a disconnect and then pull the wires. So hopefully he'll be able to finish that up. But that's it. So I think everything is looking good. It's New Year's Eve. What do we do on New Year's Eve and New Year's? We just work. We don't have any time for the balls dropping and possums dropping and what y'all dropping? So there's the pipe mount. We're not really big fans of them, but on jobs like this, it works. They work great. So they have their place. Iron Ridge has some cool fasteners. They keep innovating with their uh, hidden clamps, their camo clamps, these hidden end clamps. Hard to see it right there, but there it is. It's like a cam lock device. Locks the panel down really nice. I do like the UFOs. I think they're nice. I think they work really well. These are Trina 380 watt 72 cell modules. So uh, what do you think? If you need a system let us know. Be glad to help you. We can get you the materials. We can walk you through step by step if you'd like to do it yourself. If you'd like to do it yourself to a certain point and then hire us to come finish it we can do that. We don't mind. It's all good work. Fun work. Fun crew to work with. And we learned something new on every one. So, um, usually we specialize in battery backups, but doing more and more grid tie with uh, battery capability. So, looking forward to this. This gentleman will eventually, in a couple years, get a battery. So, this will be set up for the, I think it's called an ensemble AC battery, similar to the Tesla. So, let me know what you think. And we'll help you get a system. If This is a great way to get into it with a grid tie. At least you're producing power. And then you can add batteries later. Alright, Engineer 775, signing out.